All right, Emperors and Allies fans, today we are going to discuss the Level 7 HQ and the defensive options it provides. Now, with the Level 7 HQ, you get a brand spanking new guard tower, which I've already upgraded to level 5, 10 more wall pieces, which I've already upgraded to level 3, the Patriot anti-air defense tower, um, which you don't really need to upgrade it at the moment, it's pretty standardly good as it is, and another rally flag. Now, when we're going to put this together, but we're going to actually just upgrade the current build to include these new defenses, so when you're done, you will get something that looks a little bit like this. Now, if the enemy goes out of the way to destroy the Patriot, uh, likely their attack drones are not going to be able to handle the anti-air attack from the sentry gun, from the dome sentry. So, the, that's my uh, thought process behind it. And the Patriot doesn't have to be um, really up to three spaces away from the other turrets, seeing as it has over 5,000 hit points, meaning that it can take an airstrike. So having it be a little closer to the other towers won't hurt it that much. Um, and the other rally flag goes up to the north point of the base here so that the troops continue to go in a nice circle around the base and not through the base. Remember, that's key. Don't let your troops walk through your base because if they walk through your base, they're going to walk by your defenses and get, you know, and your enemy will get a value airstrike. So, really, that's it for the defensive options here. Um, I moved my dome sentry down here a little bit. Kept everything else the same up here. I have the guard towers a little further out up here to defend up here, but really this all comes down to making sure that your defensive troops don't get killed by an airstrike uh, early on. And if they're walking around outside the you know, outside the perimeter of your base, through you know, around your defenses so that they're still covered in case of an attack, then, you know, you're doing good. So, that's it. Make sure to also use your your strike forces. Always on your, I always like to put them on the uh, domes. So that the dome sentries have a whole lot of HP and do a whole lot of damage. You can also put them on your artilleries. But I do, like I said, I prefer the dome sentries. But artilleries are preferred by some. Uh, n nothing is really that wrong when it comes to using your strike forces. So, anyways, that's it. Make sure to like and subscribe if this video helped. Also, make sure to leave a comment below if you think I missed something. Um, if, you know, or if you just want to yell at me, tell me I'm a noob or something. I don't know. You know, go ahead. Take your shots at me. It's all good. Anyways, but thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video when we discuss the level 8 upgrade to the HQ.